Hello everybody, welcome back to another Expeditions Guide. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Destructive Changes Expedition in the Mountain Labyrinths. Uh, this is going to be a long one, so buckle up, here we go. So we're going to be using the Lodestar. Um, I also have with me a set of anchors for emergency purposes, and because we have a big scouting step at the end of this thing, I brought with me the drone operator, Akane Ishida. So let me uh, go ahead and show you roughly what we're going to be doing here. So we got to hit three points over here. So we're going to be going down this way, hit this point, then going over to hit this one on the island, and then coming back over here to get this waypoint. And once we get that, there's like a big scouting area like right down here uh, that we're going to have to unveil. So it's going to be a long one. It's going to be a fun one. And uh, I will show you how to get it done. So uh, first thing we're going to do is leave the outpost and make our way to the south here uh, over by the forest. Once we get over here, we're going to make our way to the left and go up onto this higher ridge here. And we're going to go ahead and follow this ridge all the way down to the end. And once we get over here, we're going to head to the left side all the way over here, uh, right next to the trees and next to this rock. And we're going to work our way down over this way. Once we make it down, we're going to head to the left and go for this gap in the rocks here. Once we get over that, we're going to go ahead and make our way over around the bottom side of the rock here and kind of head along the uh, river shore here. Not all the way down on the shore. We're going to stay up on this higher area by these trees. I'm going to go to the left side so we can go around those rocks. There's a little dip here, so we're going to kind of ease our way around that. Go around this high spot. Work our way down. And then we're going to head over this way and make our way around this big rock here. Once we get around this rock, we're going to squeeze up right next to this tree and climb up this hill and this will get us to our first waypoint that we have to get to the lake is almost completely dry more research is needed so once we hit that waypoint we're gonna go ahead and get turned around and we're gonna make our way down to the river shore here and go around this tree and climb on down right here. And this is where we're going to go right across the river here. It's shallow. It's kind of deep. Um, I've got the high mount snorkel on the Lodestar. So I'm able to uh, go through here without drowning. We're just going to kind of work our way across. We can grab this tree branch to kind of finish pulling ourselves across. All right, once we get across, we're going to climb on up the hill and go ahead and make our way down to the shore on the other side here. And here we're just going to go navigate around these rocks and trees, and we're just going to follow the shoreline until we get to a crossover point. And our crossover point is right over here. There is a bridge to build. If you don't have this bridge built, it is 75 spare parts. But I've already got this built from a previous expedition, so we're going to go ahead and just go right across the bridge here. Once we get across the bridge, we're going to head to the right and make our way up over these rocks and head towards the center of this island. get over here we're going to go around these rocks and right on over to this waypoint where we need to do some scanning with the drone so we're going to go ahead and hit these three waypoints here there's that one and then there's this one right here 
And then we got one more all the way on the left side over on this other pond. Local small ponds seem to be in very poor condition. They are clearly drying up, possibly due to low seismic stability in the region. Alright, so once we have finished scanning the ponds, we're going to go ahead and get turned around. And make our way back to the shoreline. But before, instead of heading to the shore, we're going to go to the right and make our way through the little woods here. And then we're going to head down to the shoreline and cross over on this shallow spot here. Once we get across to this next island, we're going to go ahead and follow the shoreline for a little bit. Once we make it around these big rocks, there's going to be a path that will cut through the middle of the island. So we're going to do that to go to the other side of the island here. Once we get to the other side of the island, there's going to be another shallow crossing that we're going to be able to use to uh, get on over to the next island. There's quite a chain of islands here that we're going to be crossing through. So we're going to go ahead and follow the shoreline over here. Once we get over here, there's a bridge construction. So we're going to go ahead and build this bridge to get across. And I'm actually going to move this waypoint over here. And we're going to go ahead and cross our bridge that we just built. Again, that was 75 spare parts to build this bridge. Let's get the positioning right here. <laughs> Come on, Charlie. And now we're falling off the other side. Okay. I like the uh, wider bridges on Canop Creek a lot better. <laughs> this one's not as fun to go across. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so from here, we're going to go ahead and follow the shoreline for just a little bit. Go across these little uh, bumps in the ground here. Oh. That was a nasty one. All right, so we're going to go ahead and climb right on up here. Use some of these trees to kind of pull us up. From here, we're going to go ahead and follow this little flat land for a little bit. And we're going to follow this hill all the way up by these big trees. To get over here, we're going to go over this rock and through these trees. Once we get over here, we're going to make our way up this hill. And from here, we're going to go ahead and follow this clearing through the woods here. And we're going to follow this around these trees here. And that is going to get us over to this little lake. And we're going to go ahead and drive right on over to our waypoint over here. And we're going to go ahead and scan the lake.
Seems that the faults appeared in the rock recently, and they heavily impact the condition of the reservoirs. Alright, so with that done, the next thing we need to do is a big explore the area. And that's right up ahead here. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and get turned around through the forest here. We're going to kind of navigate right through these trees here. And I'm going to get right to the end here, and we're going to use the binoculars. And we're just going to scan this horizon. You'll see there's a uh, task over there, task over here, and even an upgrade up on the top of the mountain there. So we're just going to scan this horizon. Uh, and as you can see, we, we got a good chunk of it, but there's still a lot more to explore. So from here, we're going to go ahead and make our way down. And we're going to go ahead and try to get closer to this uh, scan area and see if we can get the rest of it with the drone, maybe some binoculars. So Once we get down to this lower area, we're just going to cut straight across the forest here. Um, there are some trees to kind of weave between as we're making our way over there, but it's not super thick overgrowth or, growth or anything. There's going to be a little stream here. We're going to go ahead and make our way across this. little winch pull kind of pull us up over it. And continue to make our way through the trees here. Once we make it through these trees, we're going to turn to the right here to kind of climb up this hill. And I'm going to go follow this path and we're going to climb up this hill here. Going to navigate around these trees here. What? What was that? <laughs> right, we're just going to climb over the rocks. Oops, that was over. Alright, so what I'm trying to do is get over here to this high spot. Right up here. And here we're going to go ahead and use some binoculars and scan a little bit more of the horizon. All right, so that gets us to 88%. So I'm going to make a few little waypoints with the drone here. So we're going to fly over here first, and then I'm just going to fly over these points with the drone, and that will get it done. So we're going to go ahead and swap to the drone. I'm just going to fly to these different waypoints. I don't think those waypoints are actually going to... I don't think they actually trigger when you fly the drone over them, but at least I kind of have a little indicator, at least the start. So we're going to fly over to this, this first waypoint. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and just circle around the forest, up to the mountain. And we're going to do that until we get the explored area complete. I do wish the drone went just a little bit faster, but it's okay. So we're going to fly the drone right around the perimeter of this big crater here. And there you have it. 
that's enough exploration to complete the mission. So there you go. That is destructive changes complete. This unlocks the emergency reserve M for the A and K civilian. So hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.